At Limbal, we talk to maintenance managers every day who are transforming their companies. These managers are finding ways to increase productivity, reduce wasteful expenses, and improve their teams. For example, Matt Hazeman increased his production uptime by 30%. Rourke Baldwin identified how his company can save a million dollars a year by using Limbal to improve their maintenance system. And Joe Romero's maintenance team became so efficient that every team of four people could do the work of five. These excellent maintenance managers are being recognized for their achievements in the form of better equipment, larger budgets, higher compensations, and even promotions. The process for all of these successful maintenance managers has been the same. First, they gather good data. Then, they made data-driven decisions, and then they saw great results. This video will teach you some strategies on how to get great data from Limbal. Once you do that, you'll be able to easily make data-driven decisions and the results will follow. The most important step to getting good data is to make sure that everyone on your team logs where they are spending their time. In other words, your team members should be logging their time on the work orders, PMs, and work requests that are assigned to them. The industry standard is that each full-time maintenance employee should log at least 75% of their day in Limble. So if they work an eight hour shift, they should have at least six hours logged on tasks in Limble. This is often called the 75% rule. Limble makes it easy for you and your team to keep track of how many hours everyone has logged. I'm gonna show you how to create a custom dashboard that displays the hours logged by your team. First, Go to the custom dashboard screen and create a custom dashboard called Team Hours. The first thing we want to see is how many hours have been logged in Limble this week. We can create a widget to display that information. To create a widget, select the plus button. We want to create a widget based on user information, so select the Users option. Since we want to see how many hours each person logged on tasks this week, change the time period to this week. Then, select the pie graph option. I like the pie graph because it makes it easy to tell how well everyone is logging hours this week. Now, select time spent on tasks. For this next step, select all of the users that need to be recording hours in Limbal. So if managers or admins at your company don't need to record hours, don't include them. The last step is to give the widget a title. I like to make the title hours logged this week. 30 required. This is a constant reminder of the expectation to meet that 75% rule. When I select add, I'll see the total hours that have been logged this week in Limble. As you can see, this pie chart makes it easy to tell who is logging their hours well and who needs some help. Since right now it is a Wednesday morning, I would expect that every full-time maintenance tech to have at least 12 hours logged. Next, let's create two other graphs that can help you track the time your team logs in Limble over multiple weeks. This way you can see the trend of your team's performance. To save time, copy the pie graph you just made. Then select the edit button to make some changes. Since we want to see the trend of the team over a period of time, I'm going to change the time frame to the last six weeks. I'll include this week by selecting the checkbox. Feel free to use a longer or shorter time frame. Now I'll select the bar graph option. We want to see time spent and we'll want to see the hours for each week. I'm going to update the name of the dashboard to total hours logged by the team. This widget shows how well your team is doing at logging their hours as a whole. The next dashboard will show you how each team member is doing over time. I'm going to copy the last widget and select the edit button on our newly created widget. This time we'll use a line graph. Select time spent, and we wanna see a weekly breakdown. However, for this one, we wanna see the data for each user, so I'll select split the graph by user. Now I'm going to name this widget hours logged per person. Now I can see which team members are consistently performing well and which ones need help. I recommend sharing this dashboard with everyone on your team, including the people who record their time in Limbal and the people they report to. There are two major benefits to sharing the dashboard with them. Number one, it will be easier for maintenance workers to verify they have logged the correct hours each day. And number two, 
your team members know that they are accountable for their work. If people know they are accountable to their peers and managers, they will be better at logging their time. The way you share a custom dashboard with other people is by selecting this share button. From here, click on all of the people you want to see this dashboard and hit select. Now when any of those people log into Limble, they will be able to see the team hours dashboard. At this point, it may be good to train your team on how to view this dashboard and why tracking their time is so important. Now, you may be thinking, my team is never going to go for this. They hate change. But keep in mind that people love change if they see how the change benefits them. Explain to your team how tracking their time will help them. Remember the recipe. Gather good data, make data-driven decisions, and then see great results. Those great results will directly affect your team and they need to know that. When you introduce the 75% rule to your team, tell them about the benefits that can come if they track their time. For example, here are some common benefits maintenance teams see when they start tracking their data. Better tools make their lives easier. Maintenance professionals love great tools for a reason. They save time and result in fewer injuries and less frustration. Good data will make it easy to justify purchasing better tools. Maintenance teams often have no choice but to work on equipment that is constantly breaking down. Good data will show when it is more cost effective to replace a machine than to keep repairing it. You may want to share the interview with Matt Hazeman where he explains how he used Limbal to get better equipment. I'll include a link to the interview with Matt at the end of this video. One of the most stressful parts of working in maintenance is having to solve emergency problems. Sometimes, maintenance team members even have to come into work on their days off or holidays. One of the great results that many maintenance teams see is that emergency problems are almost entirely gone or at least greatly reduced. Matt Hazeman mentioned this in his interview when Limbo brought his production downtime to only 4%. Most maintenance departments are underfunded and understaffed. This is because management doesn't understand the value maintenance provides. When the maintenance team has great data to prove their value, management changes their mind. These benefits and many others will come to your team, but only if they start by tracking where they spend their time. There are some other strategies that will help with constantly getting your team to enter good data into Limble. Let's return to the dashboard we created. This bell icon allows us to create a reminder email for this dashboard that will be sent out automatically. Let's set this up together. Set this email to go out on the last workday of the work week. Select all the users that this email should be sent to, such as maintenance workers and the people they report to. Write in a subject for the email. I like using this subject, have you logged at least 30 hours this week? In the message, it might be good to write a reminder of why tracking time is helpful. If we log where we spend our time, we will be able to justify better resources and support for our team. Do all of your teammates a favor and make sure you log at least 30 hours of time this week. A link to this dashboard will automatically be included on the email. Now your team will get a weekly email reminder to record their time. You may notice that your team will start tracking their time better because they don't want to end up like Kevin here. Come on! Ah! People don't want to let down their team. This is positive peer pressure and it can be a great motivator. You can increase the positive peer pressure by offering a reward if everyone logs at least 30 hours, but no reward if a single team member misses the goal. Another strategy to help your team members to log their hours is to regularly show this dashboard in team meetings. Some maintenance managers will even display this dashboard on a screen where the team can see it at all times. The next strategy for making sure people log their time in Limble is to adopt a culture of using Limble as the source of truth. This best practice is summed up by saying, if it isn't in Limble, it didn't happen. This just means that everyone needs to log their work in Limble to get credit for it. For example, if someone says they spend all day greasing bearings, but there aren't work orders in Limble showing that, then it is as if they never did the work. If you follow these strategies, you will see that your team will pick up new habits and tracking their time will become second nature. Let's do a quick recap of what we discussed. 
If you and your team get good data into Limble, then you will be able to make data-driven decisions. These data-driven decisions will lead to great results, like better resources for your team. In order to get good data in Limble, your entire team needs to be logging their work every day. Some strategies to help your team log good data include training your team on the 75% rule, which means that each full-time maintenance person logs at least 75% of their day in Limble, which is the industry standard. Make it easy for your team to see how many hours they have logged by creating and sharing a dashboard called Team Hours. Teach your team how they will benefit from tracking their hours. Use positive peer pressure and rewards to motivate team members to track their time and adopt a culture of, if it isn't in Limbo, it didn't happen. Well, that's it for this video. Here at Limbo, we want you to reach your goals. Please feel free to reach out to us at any time using this chat bubble. Until next time.